welcome to our educational channel so in this video let us start with chapter 2 from this uh, iit foundation course it is a polynomials these are the topics we will discuss uh, today from this uh, we have the degree of the polynomial so what is the degree of the polynomial and how to identify let us uh, discuss again these are the 10 topics sum and difference of two polynomials multiplication of the polynomials and division Again, we have the remainder theorem and factor theorem along with that square root. So, finding the square root in uh, there are four methods. Okay, inspection method, division and the method of uh, indeterminate coefficients and finally the square root of fractions in the polynomial. So, these are all the topics we will discuss from these polynomials and most of the topics from the algebra we will discuss in polynomials also. Right. Let us start with the first topic, degree of a polynomial. Before starting degree of the polynomial, let us see what is this uh, meaning of this polynomial, right? You know the expressions. So in mathematicals, the expression is nothing but making some terms. So addition or subtraction of the terms. If you see the definition of this polynomial, polynomial, because uh, concept if you understand, then making finding degree is very easy. So based on that, a polynomial in X in terms of x is an expression of the form this is a general form so that is a p of x so just a polynomial in terms of x that's why i'm writing the p of x this is some a naught some constant plus a1 x plus a2 x square plus a3 x cube plus so on plus a n x to the power n. This is a general form. So here is a a0 a1 a2 so on till a n. These are all our real numbers. These must be real numbers. These are the coefficients before the x. And n is the non-negative. So n should be non-negative. This should be always positive. There is also rule. I will show examples now. Here is n is non-negative. That means power should be positive. Then only we can call it as the polynomial. See, let us see examples how to define this. For example, 3x square plus 2x plus 4. If you notice this, here is the x to the power 2, it is x power 1, there is no number means it is a power 1 and this is x to the power 0, only 4 is there, we can treat x to the power 0, the x power 0 is 1, right, that is why only 4 is a constant, here is 3, 2, 4 are the real numbers and n should be non-negative, the power should be positive number, for example, if I take 3x power minus 2 plus 3x cube minus 4x, so this is uh, not a polynomial okay? because the power is the negative but always power should be non-negative. So this is not polynomial. This is not this is not example for polynomial. Okay, This is not. This is important rule because here negative power is there. According to the condition n must be a non-negative and this n is not equal to 0. That's it. Now let us see some types in this polynomials. It is only single term. If you see this example, 1, 2, 3, there are the three terms. So a polynomial having only one term is called monomial. Let us see those uh, three terms. First one, the monomial. A polynomial having only one term there is only single term that is a monomial right for example just only single term like 2x square comma 3x power 4 if i write only x this also is a monomial only for example if i write only number 4 we can call even this also polynomial because we can write treat as 4 into x power 0 right there is only single term 
these are all monomials so mono means one the meaning of the mono is one so monomial next the binomial if you see the meaning in this only we have the word itself the meaning binomial so by is two a polynomial having two terms for this there is a two terms then it's a binomial okay for example combination you can take just uh, 3x square plus 2x okay or minus 4x cube plus 4 so and so these are all the there are two terms combined with plus or minus not only plus you can combine with plus or minus the binomial there are the two terms here is a two here also two so this is one example for binomial it's also binomial and if there's a three terms is trinomial okay you can see the meaning in this trinomial t r i triangle three angles right similarly trinomial so this must be three terms a polynomial having three terms is called a trinomial just you can combine with plus or minus with the three terms right uh, 3x square minus 2x plus 4 there are three terms are there this example is all a trinomial and more than two we can call poly actually the meaning of the poly is many so more than two all we can call even polynomial so generally for first second third we have a separate name monomial binomial trinomial and more than three we can call all polynomials even this uh, this also is poly means many even two also is many only but in general we have the name separately for binomial trinomial so more than three we can call it as a polynomial this example now let us see our topic is main the degree of polynomial so what is degree so when you see that degree of uh, polynomial when we observe the degree this is nothing but the highest power of x so we are writing some expression like uh, 3x power 4 minus 2x cube plus 4x minus 5 ok here is 1 2 3 there are 4 terms joined with the plus or minus sign account the degree of the polynomial highest power highest power of the x in this polynomial is called degree of the polynomial if you notice here is highest is 4 the 3 x power 4 only for x power don't see the coefficients these are the normal real numbers here is the highest power is 4 because there is 3 is there there is no power means 1 so ok 4 so degree of this is 4 degree is equal to 4 for this example and say one more example if you take 2x power 2x plus 3 now if you notice this x is only the variable there is no number means it's in 1 it is so for this degree is equals to 1 ok that is the highest power of x in a polynomial is called degree of the polynomial and based on the degree we have the four names so if the degree is only 1 what we will call degree is 2 what we will call and degree is 3 if the degree is 4, what we call it is we have the some names I will show now. Now if you see in the degree of the polynomial, the first one is if a polynomial is said to be linear, if its degree is 1. Okay, according to that, if the degree is 1, we can call that polynomial is linear polynomial. It's a linear equation or linear expression, right? We can call it as a linear. And if the polynomial is said to be if the degree is 2 that is uh, quadratic is a quadratic if the degree is equals to 2 and that means highest power okay that is a quadratic and same polynomial is said to be cubic that is if the degree is equals to 3 right if the highest power is 3 that is a cubic and same the polynomial is said to be so by quadratic this you should learn now by quadratic 
if the degree is equals to 4. Okay, for quadratic it is 3, by quadratic is uh, 4. Let us see with examples. Just uh, for example, 2x plus 4. Here is highest power is only 1. So, this is the linear. Right? So, linear equation. And highest power is must be 2. So, like uh, 3x square minus 4x plus 5. So, this is quadratic. So, highest power is uh, 2. Now, similarly, cubic. Let's take one example. 3x cube minus 4x square. This we can call cubic. Don't see number of terms. The only the degree. The degree is 2. But there is only 2 terms. We can call this uh, binomial. But it's a cubic polynomial. It's a cubic. Because highest power is 3. And if the highest power is 4. Okay. 2x to the power 4 minus 6x cube plus 7x minus 5. So this is the biquadratic. The name. Okay. These are the four things we should remember in this. Linear is if the highest power is 1. And quadratic, the highest power is 2. That means degree of the polynomial is 2. And cubic is uh, 3, highest power. So degree of the polynomial is 3. If the degree of the polynomial is 4, that is a biquadratic. Right? These are the uh, main basics about the polynomials. Now next let us see how to do sum and difference of two polynomials. Right? Of degree of the polynomial. How to do addition, subtraction, same. Uh, polynomials uh, let us see now 